Now, when Christ was made sin, did it make him a sinner? No, but he's treated as a sinner. And then it says that we might become the righteous God. Does that mean I'm righteous when I'm a Christian? No, I still have lots of bad habits to overcome and to fight. I'll have lots of failures, all my days, all my ways. But Christ was counted as sin and you and I are counted as righteous. We're accepted as righteous. There's no condemnation to the believer. God does not record our sins and failures. The Bible says that. Romans 4 verse 8. Blessed is the one against whom the Lord does not impute, record, account sin. God doesn't record our failures. We're accepted. We're complete in him because we died with him. Paul says we were buried with him. Paul says we're risen with him. And he, then he says we're seated in heavenly places with him. Ephesians 2, six. In God's reckoning, that's where we are. We're home. And that's pretty good because I stumble so many times. It can be very discouraging. But God says it's okay, you're home. That will not lead me to be weak about sin. The sign of a Christian is that he or she fights sin. You lose many battles, you'll never lose the war. You hate sin, you love righteousness, but we are sinners still. And yet we're accepted as though we're sinless. That's the essence of the gospel. Let me close by reminding you of something in the Bible that I've preached on scores and scores of times. When Paul was in prison, he received a visit from a man who turned out to be a runaway slave. And a runaway slave, what do I do? I've stolen from my master who's a Christian. But I was told I ought to come and see you. Paul says, look, it's all right, I know your master. So he writes to the master, Philemon, and he says, look, your runaway thief is here. But whatever he owes you, put it on mine account. I'll pay it. I'll pay it. We're all runaways. We're all runaways. We've all stolen from God. You know, many people are just strangers to God as though he didn't exist. And yet in him we live and move and have our being. We live minute by minute because of God's loving permission. But many people are strangers to him. So we're all like that runaway thief. We've stolen from God. We haven't given him our heart, which is what he wants. And we've lived for ourselves. Terrible life. But well, when we come to Christ, remember Paul says to Philemon, if you count me a partner, receive him as myself. You understand I'm quoting that little letter. The only private letter that's called in the New Testament, Philemon. If you count me a partner, receive him as myself. And so God counts Christ as a partner and receives us as though we were Christ. That is the best news ever. That is the only thing that can sustain you and me amid disappointment, trial, loss and all the rest of life's upsets. If you count me a partner, says Christ to God, receive this man, this woman, this boy, this girl as though he were me and God does. Let's pray. Thank you for the gospel. Thank you for justification. That though we'll never be fully righteous in ourselves, yet you count us righteous for Christ's sake because he took our sins and he's given us his righteousness. Write that in our hearts, the good, glad and merry tidings. Makes the heart to sing and the feet to dance. Do it for everyone here for Christ's sake. Amen.